Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to have a look at how you can create custom drop down fields in Polarion, so called enumerations. To create an enumeration, you need to go to Administration, Work Items, Enumerations. Here we can find for each work item type the defined enumerations. The enumeration file is structured in the following way. At first comes the work item ID, so for example, change request. Then comes the name of the enumeration, so for example, resolution, and then always minus enum. Enum just indicating that this is an enumeration. General enumerations do not have the work item ID at the beginning and apply to all work item types. Click on create configuration to create a new enumeration. If we leave the unspecific entry in the work item type field, then our enumeration will be valid for all work item types. Then in enumeration, you can either overwrite an existing generic one, or you can create a custom one. And then you just provide the ID of your new enumeration. In our example, we will create an enumeration for the different departments that we have in our company. So we provide an ID, a name, an icon, and we can say if this should be the default value, we can say if the enumeration value should be hidden, we give it a color. The color is actually not displayed in the Polarin UI, but you can use it uh, in reports, for example, and ask for the color of this department and then use it in custom renderings. So we will just add the additional things and speed this up a bit and hit the save button. All right, so the last thing we need to do is add our enumeration to a custom field of a work item. So let's pick the system requirement for an example. By the way, there is another video which explains how you can create custom fields in Polarion, so we will not go into detail now. I have decided to use the same field ID that we have already used for the enumerations. That doesn't really matter. We select as custom field type enum, and then we select our department enumeration. Furthermore, we provide a description for the custom field and we decide if the user should be able to select multiple values then we check box multi and if it should be a required field uh, in this case the user has always to enter a value all right let's have a look at the results we can see the department field and uh, yes we can select multiple values for departments and that's all thanks for watching